Good evening, everyone. This is Rama at Schools of Fish. I want to welcome you all in today. Just want to share a quick video that I have with you guys to show uh, our discus order that came in today. We um, got about 60 discus in. I took a, a quick pick at it, peek at it, and um, got some really nice stuff in today. Uh, I know you guys have been asking for discus for quite some time. So we got some really nice stuff in and about to jump straight into it. I want to show you guys what we got. Alright, so what I am going to do is I'm just going to take these guys out one by one and just show you guys and then when I um, unbox them, when I take them out the bag, I'm going to show you a little better picture in my hand. These look like the red pigeons that we got. I think we got about eight of them. That's a really nice one right there. Uh, really nice uh, turquoise. Now I get a lot of customers from out of town and uh, I just had a guy recently got an arowana and I uh, gave him a little bit of um, water and I guess he was a little upset with me saying that uh, wasn't enough water for the fish. Well these guys came from a long distance away and see how much water is in the bag. Uh, the amount of water is not as significant as the amount of oxygen that's in the bag. So as long as there's enough oxygen to survive the trip um, that's all they really need. Uh, looks like, um, and I have a list that I'm going to post on our Facebook page of the exact names. You know, these Asian uh, discus, they give them these fancy names sometimes, so uh, I don't want to mislabel them. Uh, so I'm just going to go with very generic labeling, but when we get, um, when I post them, I'm going to have the correct labels. Uh, looks like we have some Snow Whites. And I'm gonna do two at a time because it's just so many of them. And we have different sizes. It's some we got in uh, two and a half, three inches, there's three and a half, four inches. Uh, we got some five, six inches. Uh, oh, really nice uh, pigeon. Sometimes they can uh, get themselves turned upside down and get a little disoriented. Oh man, really nice. Uh, Really nice uh, shipment in so far. Everything I've been seeing is really good. Wow, look at these uh, snake skins. They look like some uh, melons. And again, I'm going to um, take these guys out individually and show them. I just want to give you guys a quick look. Really nice golden pigeon. Look like it's four, four and a half, five inch. Wow, big boy. Like I said, don't be alarmed by the where he's sitting. He's just getting a little disoriented. Uh, let me get this guy out the bag. He'll turn a little bit. He's a little wedged in a tight spot. Let me go back to the small, smaller shelves. So these guys are showing excellent color and they'll make an excellent addition to your discus aquariums. I know it's a lot of you guys that have been contemplating doing discus and now is a good time to get into them if you've been thinking about it for a while because I can assure you that these discus are really top quality. The supplier goes to um, really uh, stringent means of uh, quarantining their fish and they don't send bad fish. I've gotten fish from them several times before. And uh, I know they're pretty reputable. Just want to get to some of these big boys. See some nice quality, but you can kind of see what I see when, when they come in. And I'm a little rushed right now because, of course, this is new to me taking videos of the discus I'm usually just used to working but I wanted to be kind of interactive with everybody and show everybody what we see so you know the quality of what comes in and what we deal with and how we go about putting fish up so it usually takes a while it usually takes me two to three hours to get all these discus fully put up oh wow that is absolute gorgeous fish I think that may be the red scorpion but I can assure you he won't last very long. I got several buyers that's probably gonna scoop him up by tomorrow, if not tonight. 
a really nice snake skin. Here's the last few bags. Alrighty, well, we're off to the next segment. Alright, everybody, i um, about to put up these discus. I've gone and separated and organized them by size and price. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm um, probably going to get the small ones by net. And when I get to like the large and the extra large, I'll do those by hand and show you the colors on those. Uh, I got some really, really nice ones. But uh, these are going to be the small ones, the two and a half, three inches. Uh, when you're getting them by net, try not to put a whole bunch in uh, the same net because uh, they'll scratch their scales up and usually it heals, but um, you don't want any damage, especially from our end. Uh, you know, customers want to buy these fish and they want to buy them as clean as possible. I'll get a better look at the discus. Once I get the last ones in, I'll show you a good look at all of them. Uh, I'm taking this video a little late because usually I get the discus uh, after hours. Uh, today we got the discus in and it was a line of customers waiting to buy them so we're actually not even showing all the discus that we had because we sold probably last hour we probably sold about five or six of them uh, actually about six i think so um they should go fast but the plan is to keep this room fully stocked with discus from small to large and once they get large and pair up we're going to um put them uh sell them as pairs so we're going to have these uh these 20 gallons over here uh, filled with pears. We'll put some breeding cones in there. Like I said, this is going to be our display tank that will keep the really nice ones. Uh, these tanks will just be filler with different sizes. Of course, this is going to be our um, wild discus tank. i got to concentrate and get this tank looking how I want it to look. I'm going to put some river stones in there. But uh, just two more of these guys. And then I can show you... All right, so these are going to be two and a half, three inches. Uh, I priced them to sell. I made them pretty reasonable, so no discounts. Please don't ask. Uh, I know you guys like to, and we work with you when we can, but price these guys to sell. These are going to be $40 a piece, but uh, they're definitely a still, and if you think you can get them cheaper, I say go right ahead and get them um, wherever you can get them. But we have good quality, and we're offering you some really nice fish and we're taking really good care of uh, a lot of blue um, uh, blue diamonds uh, some marbles some uh, snake skins uh, we got some uh, snow whites I sold uh, a couple of those already uh, so that's going to be the $40 range this batch is going to be the $55 these are going to be about three and a half some pushing close to four inches but mostly three three and a half uh, showing a little bit more color if you're new to discus you know you want to get um, you want to get uh, um, uh, a lot of discus you know school get them schooling um, the smaller they are the more delicate they can be so if money is not an issue I recommend getting a little larger size but you know if you Money's a little tight because these discus aren't cheap fish and you really, really want to try them out, you know, start small, you know, just give them some TLC. But if you want to um, really have, you know, the healthiest, easiest ones to take care of, uh, these, um, this size right here, the three and a half inches, probably a little bit easier to uh, manage. Here's the last one. It's always the last one to give you a little bit more difficulty. All right. Come on, guy. All right, so these are the three and a half inch and have some really nice ones. Sorry for the water stains. We're rushing a little bit putting these guys up because it's getting late and I have to go soon. But uh, we have a lot of uh, red pigeons. We got a few uh, golden pigeons and uh, look like it's a few. Uh, 
snake skin and it's a few turquoise, but these are the three and a half, so I'm pushing close to four inch. Alright, so the next one up is going to be, you know, the large ones uh, that's showing really good color. It's going to be like four to four and a half inches. Look at this guy right here. He's an uh, amazing color. These ones are, if you're looking for a show tank, you know, these ones are definitely going to be a little bit more money, but you get that instant show. I'm really digging these, uh, these red pigeons right here. These are awesome color. Looks like a either blue or red turquoise. I really haven't learned how to tell the difference right off the back yet. But I got a lot to learn still. Still working on. Boosting my craft. And uh, I like to not use the net with these bigger ones. It's a little bit less strain on their uh, slime coat uh, I don't have to worry about lost scales and I just feel like you know sensitive touch you know is a little bit better than a rough net you know just scooping them out they probably had bad experiences being caught in the past with nets so you know make sure your hands are clean and not have any soap if you do this but uh, this is how I like to put bigger discus up and I think this guy may be in the wrong Section. This is a marble. He should be over here. So, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. If I didn't tell you the price on these guys, these guys are 55 for the uh, the three and a half inches. So these four, four and a half inches. These guys are going to be going for 85. Like I said, these guys have really, really good color on them. Mostly some red pigeons and uh, either blue turquoise or red turquoise. I think those may be red turquoise. A little redder. The last ones, the ones that you've all been waiting for. These guys are smoking hot. There's a couple in there that are definitely my favorite. I'll save those for last. But um, I'll put these in the uh, display tank just because they're a little nicer. I know they'll probably sell faster, but show them in their full glory. That's uh, Marlboro. It's actually showing a little bit of checker in there. I think it's another Marlboro. I may have just had them in the wrong. This one is a uh, type of um, leopard, I think. I can't remember the exact, but like I said, I'll label them once I look at the uh, form or whatnot. Uh, we have a little uh, blue ram that doesn't like the big discus in his territory. Uh, it's amazing how bold rams can be sometimes. This is one of the two leopards that came in. I really like leopards a lot. Uh, I just like those red spots on that blue coloration. Alright, uh, this one is a golden pigeon. And this is the second leopard. This one is really nice color. I mean, you can see that green coloration coming into the blue. He's definitely going to be a nice showpiece fish. Uh, and the last two, I don't even know which one to show you first because they're both equally amazing. I'll show you this one. I think this is my favorite. Uh, I think this is a red scorpion. But, I mean, the pattern is just sick. I mean, that is nice. That is definitely a shellfish if I get him to turn. Uh, I know he's trying to be shy, but I'm going to get him to come out. Close for the camera a little bit. A little bit more. Um, get him to turn a little bit more. Oh yeah, you see the pattern on that guy. Those stress bars will go away. And this last one is a red pigeon. I mean, um, uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name. Uh, red panda. I'm sorry. I guess it's a variation of the pigeon blood, but this is a amazing little big fish. He's pushing easily six inches. Uh, I imagine these two fish are probably be gone. I got one customer. I think it was looking at the scorpion in particular, but these guys are probably be gone by the weekend. These guys are going to be starting off at 125 up on up. I haven't determined the price exactly yet. I'll get that tonight. But uh, just to show you guys the stock, and uh, no, definitely come on and check it out. Uh, this is just the start of many more discus to come. I plan to have this discus room fully stocked at all times for year 2019. So come on down to schools of fish and check us out. Talk to you later. Appreciate y'all watching the video. Bye.